Hey guys, it's Heidi. Welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about my most favorite Ylang Ylang fragrances. As some of you know, I adore Ylang Ylang in perfumes. And as I prepared this video, I recognized the note of Ylang Ylang is in so many fragrances of mine. So I've chosen the one with the prominent Ylang Ylang and of course the best, my top 8 out of my collection. To describe the odor profile, Ylang Ylang is a rich floral sweet note with a nuance of banana, woody, dirty and sour nuances and I often get a bit of a warm spicy feeling of it. The first one is a new purchase. I haven't shown it in a haul yet. I had a decant for a long time and it's always the same with me and my decants. When I have them and love a fragrance, it takes me such a long time to buy a bottle because the fragrance is here and I can smell it every time I want, but I can't really wear it, it would go empty. And I'm waiting, perhaps there could be a better one. But fragrances I can't try, I buy blindly without thinking so long. I'm so stupid, I know. <laughs> but now let's talk about Eau Moheli by Diptyque, a floral woody mask fragrance for women and men. Omoheli is the perfect summer fragrance for Ylang Ylang lovers like me. It's photorealistic Ylang Ylang caught in a sea breeze. Great for hot weather, absolutely refreshing, a bit aromatic and soft, warm, spicy and green. This wonderful summer perfume is created around the Ylang Ylang with ginger and pink pepper in the opening and vetiver, benzoin, patchouli, incense and a tiny bit of tonka in the base. So the main base note to me is vetiver and some sweetness of benzoin and yes, I also get the incense, which fits very well the formulation. Patchouli brings a refreshing aromatic feeling into the dry down while ginger does this job in the opening. So this is really an aromatic spicy experience around the ylang ylang. That was the reason why it took me so long to buy a full bottle. Now I am enjoying it so much. It's unisex right in the middle, my husband can use it too. So I am so happy to finally have it here. You get a lasting power of 5 to 6 hours with a moderate sillage. I would suggest it for summer and I love wearing it to my workout. So um, it's a perfect fragrance for gym. So this was my first pick. Next up is one of my all-time favorites. Cartusia Lady by Cartusia. Cartusia Lady is a warm, spicy, powdery, woody, rose and ylang ylang dominated Chypre floral. This fragrance is a huge bunch of flowers. The top notes are rose, ylang ylang, cyclamen, lily of the valley, bergamot, lilac, jasmine, and gardenia. In the mid there is carnation, cloves, geranium, peach, iris and violet leaf. And the base is made of oak musk, musk, sandalwood, tolo balsam, patchouli, ambergris, vanilla and cedar. So lilac, iris and violet bring a great dose of powder to the scent. There's a little bit of smooth fruitiness from the peach. Sweet spices from cloves and tolo balsam make the fragrance deep and warm. It's a little bit earthy and mossy from oak moss and patchouli, but only a bit for some interesting edges. All in all, it's a heavenly, beautiful white and yellow floral rose perfume with this extra touch of ylang ylang. So it's so pleasant and charming, a classic old school charm, romantic, feminine and quite addictive, at least for me. Lasting power is about six to seven hours with a moderate sillage. So this was Cartusia Lady by Cartusia. Of course, in this list has to be Ylang Ylang <laughs> Nosy Bee by Paris Monte Carlo, an amber floral fragrance. This is definitely one of the best Ylang Ylang perfumes on the market. It took me a long time um, to buy this fragrance, but it's so gorgeous. And look at this wonderful bottle, gold and black, 
We have this gold print logo with a heavenly weighted cap. The notes in here are ylang ylang, cardamom, grapefruit and lemon in the top. In the mid there is again ylang ylang, jasmine, orange blossom and damask rose. And also in the base there is ylang ylang, vanilla, labdanum, vetiver, cedar and field scavias. It's a little bit fresh and sparkling in the opening from the citruses and also soft and warm spicy from the cardamom. Jasmine, orange blossom and rose develop a magnificent heart with the ylang ylang. I feel like cedar and vetiver in the base contribute the classy chic feeling. Field scabious, which is also in the base, is a violet field flower, especially butterflies love them, but I haven't seen it in any other perfumes. Although ylang ylang is a tropical plant, this fragrance is created in a beautiful, more classy perfumery art. At least in my opinion, this one is less tropical and less sweet than other ylang ylang perfumes. And I adore this elegant, creamy, woody scent, a bit powdery and heaven, heavenly ylang ylang dominated. This fragrance to me is a versatile day and night scent and I see myself wearing this the whole year round. It's long lasting on me, about 8 hours, with a moderate to strong sillage. There is a similar fragrance called Lily Lang by Sylvain Delacourt. Um, this is a little bit stronger but not that refined. So I highly suggest Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee by Paris Monte Carlo. The Ylang Ylang fragrance in my opinion. Now we have a luxurious one. Safanat by Parfums de Mali. This is a floral fragrance. Uh, for women and the main star of this fragrance is orange blossom beside the ylang ylang. Pear and orange bring some freshness and sweet juiciness to the perfume in the opening. I get some powder from the iris which makes it quite elegant. The base is made in heaven. Vanilla, sandalwood and amber. What shall I say more? A luxurious warm and thick fragrance for a real lady. Supreme sophisticated. Which occasion would I suggest? To me it's a luxurious, sensual evening date night scent, also appropriate for autumn and winter. I love, love, love this perfume and wear it during the day the whole year round. It reminds me of Prada La Femme. I get the same feeling with, with this one. It has um, Great longevity and a strong sillage, at least on me. So this is the luxurious Safanat by Parfums de Mali. Another great one is Velvet Love by Dolce & Cabana. A designer but exclusive range. From the Velvet collection there are 17 perfumes. There are Amber, Oriental Mask, Tender Oud. They all are in the same shape, but they have different colors here on the cap. Velvet Love is a floral fragrance for women. And you get really natural carnation with creamy ylang ylang, spicy woody undertones in the base. So there are only three notes listed. It's carnation, ylang ylang and pepper get a powdery, velvety, elegant night out fragrance. Floral carnation perfume, it's so smooth and rich, slightly sweet and super sexy, gorgeous, smooth carnation. It's very rich and warm, deep and delicate. This is an evening scent to go out for dinner or on a date. Spicy and elegant, yes, I like this very much. The bottle is abor adorable. Look at that light pink velvet fabric around the cap, the gold metal shield with um, the rivets. Really gorgeous, wonderful carnation and ylang ylang fragrance. It's similar to Shanghai Lily by Tom Ford, um, but it's more the sweet spiciness. Um, they are both floral, sweet and spicy, but this one is not that sweet, not that sticky sweet that, than Shanghai Lily. So this was Velvet Love by Dolce & Gabbana. 
Now, <clears throat> Santal Musk by Narciso Rodriguez is a fabulous sandalwood scent with a warm, um, spicy floral touch. And this flower in here is Ylang Ylang. So, Santal Musk is from the collection Oriental Musk Editions. There are five perfumes in this collection. This is the Santal one and there are also Rose, Patchouli, Amber and Oud. So you don't see this one much on YouTube. Um, but the Sandalwood one really is gorgeous. It's a luxury Narciso fragrance. It opens sweet and warm spicy with cardamom and creamy Ylang Ylang. Fluffy musk in the middle note and it dries into an amazing fine and creamy sandalwood base. A modern luxurious sandalwood dream. This scent is supreme, sophisticated and refined. It's a female fragrance but for my nose completely unisex a man could totally pull this on. To me it's a luxury sensual evening or date night scent but can be worn during the day and year-round because it's non-offending and versatile for a sandalwood lover. It reminds me of Santal Blush of Tom Ford perhaps. This one is better but less strong and more female. It has moderate longevity and a moderate sillage. So this is Santal Musk by Narciso Rodriguez. I'll put it here I think. Now let's talk about an oldie and goodie. Sun by Jill Sander. This is an amber vanilla floral fragrance which was launched in 1989. Top notes are fruity notes, African orange flower, palisander, rosewood, amalfi lemon, cassis and bergamot. Middle notes are ylang ylang, heliotrope, carnation, orris root, Rose and Lily of the Valley. The base notes are Bansoin, Vanille, Amber, Tonka Bin, Sandalwood, Musk, Styrax, Patchouli and Tobacco Leaf. So this is a real 80 fragrance with all these notes in here. Citrusy top notes are just like the bright sunshine rays, sunny and fresh, compos composed of sweet orange blossom. The floral heart is an unusual bouquet of Ylang Ylang Heliotrope and Carnation. The base is warm and sweet, beautiful vanilla, while Tonka, Cedar and Benson also lend their warm character to the composition. So this is an oldie but a goodie with a lots of great scent memories for me. It's bright and happy, sweet and intense beach and cocktail bar fragrance in my opinion. Gorgeous scent, gorgeous oldie and goodie. Sun by Jill Sander. Put it here. The last one has become a bit tricky for me. It's Le Parfum Eau de Parfum Intense by Elie Saab, an amber, white and yellow floral. Le Parfum Intense was launched in 2013 and the nose behind this fragrance is Francis Kurt Jean. Top note is orange blossom, middle notes are honey, ylang ylang and rose, base notes are amber and patchouli. And I'm struggling with this honeyed orange blossom since a time. So when I wear this fragrance, and I really have worn this a bit, so you can see the damped in here. So to be honest, now I wear it more on my backside, so I don't have this uh, sticky, sweet, honeyed orange blossom in front of my nose. Because I'm really struggling with this sticky, sweet, honeyed orange blossom since a time. But it's a sweet floral honey bomb, a gorgeous compliment gather, deep and heavy scent but bright and shiny, heavenly warm amber base and the patchouli is not earthy or dirty at all. So this is really um, a nice sweet white floral, glamorous and a gorgeous compliment getter for sure. So this is Elisab Le Parfum. 
Do you know great Ylang Ylang dominated fragrance? What would you suggest? Tell me in the comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. By the way, I had so many ideas to film for you, but I'm a bit busy before and after our vacations. A huge haul video is still pending. I purchased a few luxur luxury perfumes I haven't shown yet and necessarily want to. And I also planned reviews about notes like vanilla or peach or layering options. So stay tuned. Have a great time and see you in my next video. Bye bye.